What's going on guys? Today I've been skating these wheels since March 12th so it's finally time to review the 45 millimeter 99A OJ bling blings. Let's dive into it. So obviously there is still plenty of life on them. I just cleaned my bearings obviously one of the best bearings out there in my opinion, Bronson Speed Co. Work just well with these wheels. They pair well, the orange with the white. So, first impressions, they came in this little cereal box, which I think is extremely funny and cool. I've never skated OJ wheels before, but they have this urethane called Elite Urethane. They are 99A, which is great. Um, they are seeming to keep their color white, which is very cool, very nice compared to Bones and Spitfire. They usually yellow out over time, though I've only had these for about half a month. So it's kind of funny they put on the box nutrition facts and it says big pants, small wheels, curbs, tr triple XL, <coughs> excuse me. Goofy Boy, Pressure Flips, and 1992. It's pretty funny. So apparently, I'm a 2000s kid. I was born in 02. But these are like the OG style wheel from the early 90s. Um, for the small wheel thing. Which is pretty cool. I've always found smaller wheels are better for me to ride. I get more, cop more, more pop. They're, they roll a lot better for me, even though I like to roll fast. They still roll just as fast as any normal wheel. Can't get much faster with the way I ride. But um, other than that, I'm going to keep skating these. I would recommend them to anybody who likes skating small wheels and can't seem to find any. Because there's only a couple pairs out there that I have seen that I would consider trying. Spitfire just came out with some, which is pretty cool. Um, I know Snot Wheel Company makes them. I have skated a set of 51 millimeter Snot Wheels, and I could say those were great, though they did flat spot a little bit when I power slid. I haven't had any issues with these flat spotting yet, which is also very nice, and zero complaints about them. Other than the fact that, um, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to cut that one out. I was going to say that I don't really know. I haven't skated any other OJ wheels, so I don't really know if the bigger OJ wheels would be an issue, as in I don't know if they'd flat spot or not. Almost every single wheel company I've skated, as in I've tried to skate, has always had an I've always had an issue with flat spotting them when they're brand new, but that's only because they come with like when you get the wheels for the first time, they have these like little tread patterns, which is what I was going to say the con was going to be is when they first come in out of the box here, they have like these little like little like grooves in the wheel, which I don't really like personally cuz like I said before when you break them in, they will flat spot if you slide them around a little bit and stuff with that groove. But eventually, obviously, they'll wear out and the groove will wear out and you'll be all right. But I'm going to keep skating these. I just figured I'd give them a little show off since I never did an unboxing video. I did, but I don't think I ended up posting it. And I don't think I will post it because I didn't put it on my GoPro. But uh, that's it for today's video. I hope you all are enjoying the content so far. And please, without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next video. Peace.